What's up, guys? Welcome to We're Going on a Beer Hunt, where normally we drink one beer three times and rate it. But today, it's St. Patrick's Day! St. Patrick's Day! So, today, we are going to drink three beers one time and rate those ones. But really, the beer review is a very small part of what we do. We are here to have fun. We're here to mess around. We're here to have a good time. If you want to have a good time with us, click the link below, join the Grizzly Nation, get exclusive access to merch, deals, special episodes, and other awesome stuff. On today's episode, we are going to be telling some Irish jokes. We're going to be watching some Irish dance fails. We're going to watch an Irish funeral. And we're going to look at some Irish memes. I'm Josh Waters. I'm Jeremy Rasmussen. And and we're we're going going on a beer hunt. hunt. This episode of We're Going on a Beer Hunt is brought to you by DadBots. Here's to your six-pack. Here's to watching what you eat. Here's to half the clothes in your closet don't fit anymore. So if you're raising kids or just look like you might be a father of three, you could be one of us. Here's to you, Dad Bod. I'm gonna do something weird Cause Jeremy ain't here He's a dumb bitch, a little ass bitch. All right. All right. Beer number. Well, we already opened it, but beer number one. We. Yeah. Prematurely opened it. Um. It's a little, good, little, good little taste. Sullivan's uh, Brewing Company, out of uh, Kilkenny, Ireland, established 1702. This is the. Maltings Irish Ale. Maltings Irish. I, I'm glad you know which one it is because I got two backs. Oh, what? Double backs. I got somebody messed Whoa, up. The label machine must have messed labels. up. I got two backs, which I like. I like that it's got two backs on it. I think um, cool. Malting Irish Ale should do this more often. Just double backs. <laughs> that is cool. Um, um, so it's an ale, but it's Irish. So it's mm-hmm. a little stouty. It's still. a Maltings Red Ale too. Mm. Um, See, and I'm not getting much. Normally, I'm not a big fan of reds because they yeah. taste like flowers. Yeah. But this one is more multi. It's very. Um, it's stouty. It's closer to a like a light stout than it is. Uh, this can in particular is 14.9 fluid ounces, um, and it is 5% alcohol. So it says here that they've won um, the International Brewing Award championship which is the oscars of the beer um and because i got a double label i'm gonna give them a four on this beer i like this i like the beer i like that they messed up the label it and is didn't cool care. it is cool that i like it um it's pretty malty creamy it doesn't it's not like the most it's not like guinness Stouty, which I like. Yeah, I like this better than a Guinness, actually. Okay. So I'm, I'm, but I'm still not a fan of stout. So I'm gonna go with a three. Three. Yes. Right. Three, four. I like it. I like it. Let's, uh, let's tell some Irish jokes. Actually, I got one off oh, the top okay. of my, off the Ooh, top off of the my top dome of piece. the brain. Yeah. All right. Granted, my buddy's telling this in an Irish accent, so I'm not gonna. I can't do it. It's not great. I don't want to offend the Irish because they'll kick my ass. I don't. They would. They, they might they kick would your ass, kick but I ass. don't think that they would get offended if you did a shit. They Irish might not action. get offended, but uh, they would probably mock you mercilessly. <laughs> yeah, they probably would do that. Honestly. All right. So anyways, the joke. he's sitting on a bench, enjoying a beautiful view. Ocean looks amazing. An elderly guy walks up to me and he says, "Hey, son, you know that bench that you're sitting on?" I look. Yeah. You know who built that bench? I said, "No, sir, I do not." He said, I built that bench, but they, you don't see them calling me a carpenter. I said, oh, I'm sorry. It's a great bench. It's really great. Uh, he says, you know who built that wall behind you? I look behind the wall. It's a good, sturdy wall. It looks like it's been standing for freaking decades. Yeah, no, I don't know who built that wall. He says, I built that wall. And then he says, but you don't see them calling me a mason. And he points out into the ocean. He says, you see that ship out there? I said, I do see that ship out there. He said, do you, do you know who built that ship out there? I said, let me guess. You built that ship. He says, you're damn right I built that ship. You don't see them calling me a shipwright. I said, I'm sorry. It looks like a great ship. What do they call you? He says, you f***ing goat one time. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, 
Dude, I died okay. when he told Dude, me that joke. I I love the Irish sense of humor, um, which I don't know why it brought this up. I saw this joke since um, it is uh, St. Patrick's Day. And yes, sir. Last month was Black History Month. Uh huh. Um, he said that said Martin Luther King Day will never get the respect it deserves until we can treat it with as much disrespect <laughs> oh my as gosh. we treat St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Because St. Patrick was a was a Christian saint. Yep. And the holiday is mostly people kissing each other and getting trashed. Yep. Um, you know, actually, he wasn't even Irish. St. Patrick wasn't Irish. He was not. He was born in Britain. He was he was uh, taken captive, mm -hmm. held in prison for like six years. Yeah. Uh, he escaped or yeah. was released, but he was naked. <laughs> okay. Yep. <laughs> Saint Which is, was an, naked. A, it is a St. Patrick's yeah. Day tradition. Yeah. So. Be naked? I'm, I'm assuming many people get naked on St. Patrick's Day. No, not right now. Oh, not shit. you. Okay, all right, fine. All right, let's fucking Wait tell some the jokes. third beer for that one. Let's so, anyways, we didn't. You didn't finish the story. So, St. Patrick escapes. He oh, gets back right. to Britain, and then he so, goes back to yeah. Ireland. So he he converted to Christianity at some point in his life after the six years of captivity. He went to Britain um, for some reason. You know, I don't really know the specific details. Home. He came back to Ireland. Um, and uh, just lived the rest of his life in, brought, in Ireland, being a Christian missionary. Brought and, and Christianity to Ireland. He did. St. Patrick's. And now, in honor of him bringing Christianity to Ireland, we, we, die, we, rivers, we, we die rivers green and we get, get trashed. trashed. I'm about it. All right. So um, let's do it. Let's tell some jokes. How? This is a fitting one. How does every Irish joke start? With an accent. Mm, no, by uh, looking over your shoulder. Because <laughs> they're going to piss somebody off? Yeah, possibly. <laughs> Not everybody has the sense of humor of the Irish. <laughs> That's true. That is true. Hey, um, did you actually, did you know that uh, Ireland is one of the fastest growing countries in Europe? I did not. Their populations are always Dublin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how do Irish uh, people say tell that it's summer? Eh... Uh, what? The rain gets warmer. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> it's always raining. Dude, there. that sucks. Which they're a cheery people, I believe. For real. Every you know, well, well, maybe. Okay, time out. Hang on. I got a side point. Hang on. Uh, so also, <laughs> we both have a side. Point. We both have a side point on this one. <laughs> I I feel like they have a cheery disposition, but I've never met an Irish person in Ireland. I've only ever met you them know, in America. It's funny. Like they're the. I have met a legitimate Irishman. But were they in America or Ireland? They were here in America. So maybe they're not as happy in Ireland because it's raining all the time. You know, maybe they're not. I will say, though, that it would make sense that they're not. It just in, in like, because of Oregon and Washington. Yeah. Highest suicide rates. Well, it also sucks. Yeah, we don't want to talk about that. All right. Um, <laughs> what <did> the, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> what did the drunken Irishman in New York write to his wife back at home? What? Irish... You were beers. Because <laughs> Irish people love beer. Um, they do. You know what's crazy, though? They don't have that many beers that I like I could find. The, Dude, there were so the many German local. beers, so many Belgian yeah. beers. Like, there were a shit ton of different beers, yeah. but there wasn't that much mm -hmm. Irish beer. We need more Irish beer. I agree. Did you hear about the Irishman who drank 100 liters in 30 minutes? He died. For sure, he died. Uh... No, they call it. They called the Guinness Bill, Book of World Records. <laughs> that's how the Guinness Book of World Records was started. I don't know if that's how it started, <laughs> but it is the same Guinness. The Guinness, the beer, is the same as the Guinness. Is it? It is the same. I actually didn't know that. It was very... the same. Yep. They it just started it. really. It was started because, uh, the, I, uh, from what I've heard, correct me if I'm wrong, audience, but they um, beer argument or arguments in bars. Yeah. Guinness put out a book with all these like facts in it and like records and who did the best this and that. And it kind of took its own thing. But yep, Guinness huh. Book of World Records and Guinness the Beer, one and the same. Look at that. You learn shit on our podcast too. It's educational. I'm going to put that on YouTube. Educational. Why don't you want to iron a shamrock? Why? You don't want to press your luck. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you look so Irish when you do that? No, because <laughs> Irish people are apparently Irish people are creepy laughers. Racist. By the way, <laughs> by the way, I like how you uh, you you mixed in your 
your gauges. Oh yeah, my gauges. Yeah. Gauges are green. I got the green they sweater. Match, they match nice. I There's like no it. pinching going on here. You're like a you're like a modern. You're like a 2023 leprechaun with your brown hat. And stuff. Yeah. Yep. So every night an Irishman walks into a bar. He orders three shots. Yeah. Um, he does the three shots, pays the bartender, and uh, he leaves. One night the bartender stops him and asks him, "Why? Why do you order three shots?" He says, well, I have two brothers. Do a shot for each brother. One lives in America. One lives in Australia. We each do three shots every night, so we feel like we're still drinking together. <laughs> one, every night? Every night. One, um, a month later, he walks in. It's been some time. He does orders two shots, takes two shots. The bartender goes, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. Oh, man. Irishman goes, what? What's going on? He says, was it the brother in Australia or the brother in America? Irishman looks at him oh, and goes, no. oh, no, 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 no. I just quit drinking. <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> what uh, do you call a big Irish spider? A <laughs> big, uh, big old Irish spider. What do you call it? A patty long leg. <laughs> That's not what the brother in Australia would call it. No. They, they, Australia dude, those. is a whole mother whole other world, dude. We're going to have Australia night eventually. Did you know that Australia is not even real? <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> it's a whole conspiracy. Josh believes night. in flat earth. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, I don't. I don't believe. <laughs> All right, do you have one more? Everyone knows the Earth is a cube. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> do you have one more, or, or are you good? Did you hear about the Irish potato that immigrated? No. He became a French fry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. Let's, let's finish this Let's off. finish these yeah. beers. Beer number two. <laughs> Two in Ireland. Two? I think yeah, they just speak they English. <laughs> they have their own language. It's it's. I don't know if it's if it's Gaelic or if it's uh, Gaelic is Scottish, but Gaelic is either Scottish or Irish, and then vice versa. They have their own language. Dickhead. Okay. They All speak. Right. I, they speak English. Just get the f- beers. No, what we got? We got the brother to this one, and this one instead of a red ale, it is a. Golden Gold. ale. Oh man, mine's got a front on it this time. So are you gonna rate yours lower? What's <sighs> what you looking like? What what's what's the look? I I I like the black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. I you know what? One thing that's cool, I like the signature down here. Yeah. I don't know who that is. Oh, it's the brewmaster. It's kind of like the like the watermark that an artist does. Uh, it's still a signature, not a watermark. Down there at the bottom of a painting. Signature. All right, well, f- you. Okay. Um. What's his name? Can you read it? Joe? Something Irishy. I don't know. <laughs> okay. It's still a little, it's still multi. Wow, it is. It's still stouty. All right. So this one is also 14.9 fluid ounces. Um, Those are bigger. Also, ooh, this one's 5.2 alcohol percentage. Mm, so it's, it's got a 0.2 percentage higher, higher than the previous one. Okay. Um, Enjoy the canned uh, version uh, of our uh, Irish go. Let's start that again. And <laughs> rude. Enjoy the canned version of our Irish gold golden ale. Mm. So it's gold and golden, which is interesting. Um, traditionally brewed with lightly roasted caramel and finished with first gold aroma hops. I don't know what an aroma All hop right. is. I think this. I think this. The next little thing on the can tells you exactly what to expect in terms of going from this can to that can is a tastier ale with a gentle bite. Your mom's got a gentle bite. <laughs> Let's get the... <laughs> Stupid. All right. Let's, uh, let's rate it. I, um, I like this one. I like it better. Mm-hmm. It's less stouty to me. Me too. I like this better, but I gave the last one a four, so I'm going to have to match it. I'm going to give it a four. The the other one got pushed to 
higher because it had the double. The I'm gonna double go back. like the double back that we got back. What we got. I'm gonna go with a four on taste. Four on taste. But an overall a three point five. Don't do halves. <laughs> That's why I did it. <laughs> Don't do halves. Let's let's watch some Irish uh, dancing fails. I believe it's called Irish jig in America. You're a jig. Should we look up the definition <laughs> for jig? So we know what I just called you. Jig number one noun. A, li- a lively dance with leaping movements. There you go. You're a it's li- literally an Irish jig. It is a lively dance with um, leaping movements. See, dickhead. Oh. I know things. All right, let's watch some Irish jig fails. Let's, because uh, fails are always great. Fails it's are great, and Irish I- dancing, um, which is impressive on its own. But let's watch these. Let's uh, people fail. not do it impressively. She's in socks. That's ne- oh, never a good idea. She's socks and tile. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. All That's right, here ball. we go. Ooh. ooh, on stage. I feel too. like it's just people. Oh, 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 oh that- the dog's gonna hump her. No. Oh, it- well, that dog oh. probably yelping. These all are so things. fast. I feel like just oh, things oh. are fast. What is she doing? I don't know. Oh, she hit her head <laughs> on the lamp. <laughs> oh, oh gosh. just down. Oh. I feel like a lot of these are. Oh, got. That was that. Impressive. Should we? Should we try? Should we try to Irish jig dance? Yeah, no. Ooh, 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 ooh on, stage. Oh, on stage. That's sad. Dude, that sucks. A lot ooh, of people. Oh, in the street. In, kneecap. Mm, she had recovered, oh, though. Gosh. A lot of these guys are up quick, though. That's right. the thing. Oh. Ah, man. So many tailbones. Ah. So ooh. Many tailbones. Nashville. Nashville. Ooh, twisted ankle for ooh, sure. That one was. The, oh, 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 oh. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, there you go. You got it. It never happened. Oh. Oh. The tailbone strength. Okay, time out. We need to we need to figure out what's harder, ballet or, or Irish jig dancing. Oh, Irish jig dancing for sure, I feel. But maybe we should get an Irish jig dancer and a ballerina to come like dance We should have battle. them compete. We'll dance to have a dance we battle. We should garage. have we need a we need a corp yeah. I, uh, my niece is a ballet. If you can find there's an Irish dancing studio at um, in the same building. You know as, of an Irish dance studio? It's in the same building as uh, my son's hockey. <laughs> no way! <laughs> yeah, no way! Do you think we could make this happen, dude? We could. We could, could, do we could ballerina we versus could. Irish dance. We could Irish jig. Sorry, we could Apologies. do it. I don't know if that's the official term. That's just what I call it. And, and I ended up being a right. Officially, so. according to Google, it is a lively dance with leaping movements. We're gonna do this. Boom. We're going to do it. All right. We're going to oh. get back to watching these people hurt themselves. All right. I like their shoes. I think they're Ooh. Just, oh, They're so... Oh, in the Snow, ice. That's you're your own idiot. fault at that point. <sighs> oh, into the glass. Oh. 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 That was oh. a cool oh. move at first, though. Oh. oh. oh poor girl. Oh, oh, her dress fell off. Dude, I'm burping. That's embarrassing. Okay. What's up? Oh. Okay. Oh. I, uh, ooh, I, ooh, she's tall. She looked tall as hell. I feel like Irish. Ooh. Dude, this is almost a contact sport. Dude. The raw wire is like, hey, I, you good? I, let me pee on your face. I assume there's so many of these because it's just super normal. Oh. All right. Ooh. All right. I think we've had enough of Irish jig dancing. I have a surprise for you, Josh. What do you have? Uh, well, hopefully you haven't seen it before. What? All right. This is an Irish funeral. Um, this is not a traditional Irish funeral. It just happens to be in Ireland. And um, I've seen it. Josh has not. I have not. I will do my best to control my emotions. Shut your mouth. <laughs> go, ahead and, go ahead and hit play, Josh. I'm going to go ahead and hit play. If I know anything about Irish people, though, they have a good sense of humor, like I've said. Um, so I'm expecting this to be funny. Otherwise, this is a really weird thing to show on this. It would take us forum. into a weird... I will say it is funny. Swear. It would take us into a weird uh, direction. That, damn, okay. I'll give it a five, dude. That was good. All right, we got an Irish funeral. We got a casket. We got... Oh, bagpipes. Yes. Oh, the saddest and most beautiful instruments and also most annoying. I do love bagpipes, actually. Hello? I want to... Hello? <laughs> No, no. 
No, no, no way. Hello? Hello? Where the fuck am I? Please look in here. Hello? Hello? What are you seeing, Josh? What are you? What are, what are you seeing? No, I'm in the box. Hello again. Hello again. Hello. Oh my God. Hello. <laughs> and it's still crashing. I think he's singing. Pure genius. Pure original. Uh, yes, and like to take. And I think that's part of the the beauty and the magic of Irish people is they will take something as sad as because this guy <sighs> recorded this knowing he was gonna die. I'm assuming. Yeah. Take something as sad as his own funeral, knowing people were gonna be crying and a very emotional. Yep. And giving them a little bit, a little last taste of this guy's imagine, joy and sense of humor. Imagine how fucking funny this dude was in real life Ugh. imagine how funny this dude was in real life whoever this dude is dude hey if if anybody dude could you imagine cheers yeah for real cheers Actually, to this dude you know what Here. Let's pour, we'll pour a little bit of out for him out because for that, that is that is that is amazing thank you for whoever recorded that mm -hmm. This, like everyone's laughing, but they're crying at the same time. It is awesome. It is, it is beautiful. Yeah, I feel I feel that during a, a funeral of all times, you need to um, be able to remember the happiness, the Dude. happy times, and this guy brought that. He did, he did. Cause like you know, sometimes it's like, all right, the father or a brother or a best friend that's make required to like and... make him laugh or something yeah. like that. But you know what? Like he was like, nah, this is good. And I guarantee one person only knew about it. And maybe they didn't even, whoever was like, just Somebody plug in the auxiliary life. cord and just enjoy it. Yeah. Like this is, this is, this is awesome. And also if anybody was offended by this, don't be Oh no. But if like anybody there was offended, Oh, the f does he care? He's dead. <laughs> He's he don't care about your anymore. feelings. He He's in care. a better place. Trust He's me. In a better. Um, Josh knows. No, we're not getting into that. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that'll dude. be a very special episode of beer. That'll Hop be a very. We go into. Yeah. I died. Died. Josh died one time. I died one time. This is not a joke. This is real life. And I died one time, but that's going to be a very special episode only if you join the Grizzly Nation. Yeah, we'll make it exclusive. <laughs> exclusive to Grizzly Nation needs to know how I died. Mainly because everybody that watches our podcast right now already knows. <laughs> uh, um, speaking of that, the, the seven of you watching this, anybody want something from the gas station? All right, beer number three. <laughs> Beer number three. Yes. It is. Uh, this is different from the other two. This is Smithwick's Red Ale. Smithwick's uh, Oh, Red. it's Smithwick's and Sons out of Ireland. It is, obviously, this is 11.2 ounces, 4.5% alcohol, a ruby red brew with gentle hop gentle bitterness hop. and bitterness. a sweet malt finish. Sweet malt finish, baby. Why don't you read the, why don't you read the little back description All for right. him? Um... Smithwick's has been brewing in Ireland for over 300 years, like the castle at the heart of Kilkenny. Wait, so, hang on. They got a castle at the heart of Kilkenny? Apparently so. I think that's why the... I think that's why the, there's a castle right there in the center. Castle I like the, the signature in the background, too. I like the signature. Um, I like the red with also, the white. Nice contrast. I'm assuming this is the same same Kilkenny that uh, Sullivan's we brewed in. All right. Um... Let's see, where was I? Where, where? Smithwick's was founded, uh, uh, was founded, our brews have stood the test of time. This ruby red brew earned its rightful place as Ireland's most loved ale. 
now brewed in Dublin, this red ale has a blend of mild hops, sweet malt, and roasted barley. So, uh, my question, are we um, are we drinking like the Budweiser of Ireland? I don't know. If you're, I feel like if you're from Ireland, let us know if that's what we're drinking right now. Let's, uh, Let's I've try never, it out. I've never had this Let's one. Let's taste it out. It smells. It's got a multi smell to it. Normally, I'm an IPA drinker and a New Mexico IPA drinker, so it's pretty bitter. Um, it's got a good multi smell. Mm. It tastes as good. It's not as I would say malty as as the first IPA. Stout. It's not as stouty. Yeah. It's not. It's not as stouty as the first it's two not, beers. It doesn't. Yeah. But I don't know if that's because it's beer number three. It and could we're be used that. To it. Well, I mean, if uh, you count the we... pre beer and the pre pre beer and the um, Irish car bomb, Irish car bomb. This is beer number five and or six. Do you think they take Irish car bombs in Ireland, or is that an American made thing? And is um, I don't know. Are if you you're from... a genuine uh, Irishman? Irishman let or us know. I'm Irish men or a lady? Or I'm this, assuming mostly men. Is this another American made thing? Because America is nothing but a melting pot of a billion different cultures. Yeah. Also, we take other cultures, Chinese food, pizza, We spaghetti. take it to the top. We though. make it better. Yeah. We do. We're Straight American. Up. We're better. We make <laughs> We're so it ignorant. Better. Um, um, so well, let's rate it before we get into it. Yeah. Uh, um, based off of. I mean, I like. I do. I like the castle. It um, reminds me a little bit of chess. I like the signature behind chess. it. It's <laughs> like Jeremy plays chess. I don't play chess, but I have played chess so and I've gotten my ass whooped. So well. distinguished. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, it's simple. I like it. It's nothing too crazy. I still think it's probably yeah. a three uh, in terms like a three I'm gonna, in terms of appearance and stuff. Out of the three we've given. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a three. I like it. I like it. It's a little more hoppy. Let's do some memes, cause memes some. are the way Irish, of the internet. Irish memes Let's on the do internet. It. Irish memes on What are we starting internet. off with? Starting off with Meanwhile starting in off with Ireland. Meanwhile in Ireland, <laughs> we got some little. What little, are they drinking? Little kids drinking some green bottles. Oh, this yeah. guy's. This one he's is going to town. He's going to town. He's done. He's going to town. Dunzo. This guy is just. He's, he's trashed. He's gone already. He, yeah, he's had too much he already. He's gone. <laughs> uh, dude, children. I know. I know you can drink. What like, is the, the age? age is different. Yeah, it is different. Um, um, what is the age li- limit? You know, for drinking I, in I, Ireland. Let us know. I know. Do you it's think different. it should be lower so, here? Do you think that that people should be able to drink it? I feel like at if, eighteen, for example. Uh, it's Look, so this hard is, because I've always been like a believer. If you can be like drafted into war. I, I but agree. you can't even buy cigarettes now unless you're 21. Also, 18 year olds, if you, I, I could care I less was, about cigarettes. They should all be banned. When I was 18, um, no, 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 no. This is America, sir. This is America. Um, if I want to smoke myself to death, look, eat myself to death, you be quiet. If I want to smoke myself to death, if I want to eat myself to death full of cheeseburgers. If I want to vape fair. myself to death, this is America. As long as I'm not harming another person, I should be able to do whatever right. I want. That's fair. That is fair. I will say that if you're allowed to eat yourself to death with diabetes, you should be allowed to yeah. smoke yourself to death. On to the next meme. That's I'm not meme. always Irish. But Speaking when I am, that, it is St. Patrick's Day. I believe that is uh, talking about the kiss me, I'm Irish. Because everybody's suddenly Irish on St. Patrick's Day, and their Irish heritage suddenly comes out. You know, I, get that. I think the Irish have done a very great job of spreading their uh, biological heritage. I think it's because of, they have gone around and they have made it happen. They have gone around and so, they have they have spread their seed throughout <laughs> throughout the uh, the. Well done, you Irishman. Uh, Irishman. Irishmen. American women love and a good Irish accent. They do that Irish brogue. Woo. I do like it better than an I, English so accent. So the actually. the guy, the family that owns the coaching company yeah. that I work through. I, I'm in residential real estate. If you don't know, if uh, you know anybody, if you know anybody, um, running anybody looking to buy or sell, never too busy for your referrals in Albuquerque. Can you metro say that in an area. Irish accent. 
I cannot. No, I cannot. It'll be uh, <laughs> it'll be terrible. But the the coaching company that I go to, if you are in another place or um, it's Buffini and Company. Yeah. But he's got a podcast. Check it out. Um, it's a good life podcast. Brian Buffini. Ooh, it's uh, it's good. It's a good. I listen to it. I can podcast. To it. It's um, mind motivation methodology behind success. Woo, it's a good one. Anyways, and it sounds um, better because he's Irish. And he's got that nice Irish brogue. Yeah, Ooh, he's he got does. that good sound. He sounds good. Um, Mr. Uh, Brian sounds Buffini, if you'd like to come on the show, or probably younger brother Kevin Buffini, who I've met once or twice as well, um, my. Might have I I feel like Kevin would probably Brian might not Kevin probably would so uh, Kevin Buffini if you'd like to come and hang out with us have a uh, beer next meme next meme next American meme American tourists claiming mm. to be, to be Irish one sixteenth Irish uh, because she's only and the Irish are like <sighs> they're all because it's cold and rainy and yeah stubborn you know the culture is great but Irish. the weather is dog shit. Um, I did meet a couple Irish people when I was selling. I ran the liquor department in a Walgreens for yeah. a while, for a couple years um, in my youth, my youth. And they were like, y'all drank here. And I was the like, Irish. Huh? Yeah, the two Irish, like full, like thick accents. Like they came to visit some family on like a extended leave. And I was like, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on a minute. They said, we drink. Yeah, he's like, y'all, you guys drink. He didn't say y'all because that's my interpretation of it. <laughs> y'all like, drink. You guys, he's like, you Americans drink a ton. And I'm like, wait a minute, that's your thing. Your thing in, as an Irishman is drinking. Yeah. And they're like, no, 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 no. We drink like normally. They, it's a normal thing to drink there. They drink like to recap the night. Yeah. We drink. We drink to get hammered. Uh, we like, drink. We drank. Like they drink. We drank. <laughs> um, who next? Me? All right. Brilliant, Brilliant Irish. Irish. You can take this one. Text message from John. Says, uh, yeah. No. Oh, I am a c- from something. John. It says, Mary, I'm just having a point with me lads. If I'm not home in 20 minutes, read the message again. That's <laughs> terrible. I'm sorry. I I really wanted to try to do an Irish accent. That, was, that was terrible. Was, but it's terrible. it is it is smart. It is quick witted. It's and good. Uh, I like read it. Read the message again. Cause good for you, John. Well just, done. Just read it again. It'll be John 20 minutes. John uh, How to speak Irish. Whale oil beef hooked. No, do it. Whale oil beef hooked. Don't do it with the Irish accent. Just say I'm it. I'm not. Whale oil beef hooked. Whale oil beef hooked. <laughs> will be fucked. Yeah. Yeah, will be fucked. Will be fucked. <laughs> <laughs> the Irish are never too busy for a quick pint. Uh, for a quick pint, and I am never They're... too busy for your referrals. God damn it. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sneak that bad boy in there and walk in. Uh, <laughs> they're ankle also, deep in they're a flood. A, they're ankle deep in a flood. Do you also, think that's from rain? Or like, does Ireland get hurricanes and shit? I, I only think th- I feel like rain. her. It's so much rain. It's a rainy place. I mean, I would like to comment on on. So we're gonna go from left to right. I'm gonna go ahead and do this real quick. We got a guy in blue stripy sweatpants, shirt blue blue in. pants, stripe with white stripe, blue sweatpants, shirt tucked in, like '70s long sleeve, like big collar polo. And then next to him, we got a guy that sh- with the like the it looks fedora. Like a, he should be a ranger. Well, no, he's got the he's got the fedora like the almost it's like German f- style. Yeah, like oh, it's fedora. like uh, it's like Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, but he's got like that thick band on it. Also, shirt tucked in, pleated pants. Is he wearing suspenders? Button, button, button I can't shirt. tell. And then we got two guys in all blue. They just were like, we have nothing but blue. And we have a younger gentleman on the far right. He's wearing a newsboy's hat. Newsy like types hat. He's like giving us the we're okay. Um, possible rain pants, red shirt. And then the the dude on the left is my favorite. He's just there for really? a drink. I like sh- the Sherlock Holmes hat guy. Yeah. He's like, this f***ing <laughs> guy, I just won't f- <laughs> He's just waiting right there. He's just hanging out. Just be more assertive, my man. I'm into the sweatpants guy. He looks comfortable. Uh, here's to you, sweatpants guy. I like Sherlock guy. Holmes. He's, he's, I'm digging him. And <laughs> the All right. That's going to be my thing. Dad, are we Irish? Probably. Shut up and finish your whiskey. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Again, it goes back to the drinking age. At what point? Because, you know. Do uh, you know? If you know, let us know. When, when do your kids start drinking anything in other countries? In other countries. I feel like. I, definitely the United States is by far 
to my knowledge, the most strict in terms of I think so. I, I think if you can shoot and kill a person on behalf of your country, you should be able to drink. Well, and I feel like if we introduce them to good liquors, I'm going to, so me personally, in my own home, in a safe place, I'm going to let my kids, when they're teenagers, they're young still, but have a, have a drink mm. safely. Because if I go to a party and I... If I go to a party and someone's like, hey, you want this natty light. That's fair. No, I'm not taking it. But, but Or if somebody's like, hey, you, we don't have any mixers and we have some cheap, you know, Canadian mist is the cheap, like, plastic bottle whiskey. Yeah, that sounds that's the right face. It's disgusting. terrible. I'm not drinking. Anything I'm not. Canadian I'm not. It's probably gross. I'm not Justin taking Trudeau, it. Justin so Trudeau, you suck. He does suck. Anyways, but I feel like if we get introduce our kids to alcohol and good tasting, good, expensive, nice alcohol early, they might not abuse it because it's not a. Mm, it's it's. I no, understand the thought. It's no longer like a. Your kids are gonna get to college at one point. Well, I understand that, but it's it's no longer like a taboo like thing. They're not being like rebellious and young and drinking at a party. It's like valid point. Like, I could drink this garbage here, or, or I could go home and sit in my house and drink something good. Perhaps. Perhaps. We'll see. We'll have to just test it and see. If your kids drink early or late, or if you're an older uh, old, if you're an older parent than us, and have tried it, holla, holla at your boys. I definitely I'd like to know. my rebellious phase. Let's go to the next meme. You do this one. Uh, why do leprechauns laugh when they run? <laughs> this should have been part of our joke series. Yeah, it should have. <laughs> because the grass tickles their balls. <laughs> That's, that might feel good. It might. That it might depends on the good. type of grass. That yeah. saw grass. Woo! Yeah, that might hurt. That might not be actually. good. But I, I guess they'd wear kilts. Leprechauns don't wear kilts. You, how many leprechauns have you met? Any leprechaun I've ever seen. Lucky Charms. No kilt. Does he wear a kilt? No, he's got like, See, he's got, like business pants on. Business pants? <laughs> yeah. We going to the next one? It's, yeah, I'm going to read this one. This one's All right. <laughs> Who's the next meme? <laughs> oh, gosh. Teacher, what's so funny? Me, nothing. Me in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Irish. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> <so creepy. laughs> Billy Irish. Um, unpopular. I don't I don't not like her, uh, but I, an unpopular opinion. I believe she's a little overrated. Uh, she's also a part of the Illuminati, so of course she is. Um, yeah, she's got a demon in her. She, there's this clip. So are we. So and so, so are we. Are like, you? Uh, uh, are we watching you? Watching here, us? Watching you, you now? To, to quote LeBron James, I think he goes like this, and then he goes like this, and then he goes like this, something like that. And he goes like this. <laughs> he doesn't. LeBron but, James, you're a dirtbag that's in the Illuminati. Uh, but are we in the Illuminati? Are you in the Illuminati? We are, we are trying to infiltrate are the Are we watching you, watching us, watching them in the Illuminati? Could we all be in the Illuminati? No, that's the Matrix. Oh. <laughs> Next f***ing meme. That's it. That's all the memes. Nope. That's all the memes you saved. Yep. All right. So apparently we're going to go ahead and end this safe. Oh, I don't know if we can do that. Uh, we can't end this episode on Billy Irish. Billy Irish. <laughs> she had a mustache. <laughs> it's it not okay. Creepy as, it's hella creepy. It was creepy as hell. Um, we're going to end this episode with uh, this Irish blessing for St. Patrick's Day. May the roads ride up, rise up to meet you. May the wind always be at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rains fall soft upon your fields. Until we meet again, may God hold you in the hollow of his hand. I'm Josh Waters. I'm Jeremy Rasmussen. And we're, we're going, going on a beer, beer hunt. hunt. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Be safe, everybody.